Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here. Once again, today we're doing another edition in my series where I'm counting down my favorite songs by one of my favorite bands. And today we are talking about Bork Nagar. So if you haven't heard these guys before, they play a very unique blend of like progressive black metal, progressive Viking metal, even with like some folk elements in there as well. They've been around a really long time from Norway gone through countless lineup changes they're always known for bringing in like some of the best singers out there like they have had so many epic vocalists in this band namely Garm from Over fame uh, ICS Vortex who went on to be in like Demu Borgir they have had Vintersorg of course from Vintersorg um, and also their keyboard player does backup vocals, uh, Lars Nedland, and he's got an absolutely gorgeous voice as well. They really blend a lot of like clean singing with the raspy black metal singing as well. Started out more as like a straight ahead black metal band, definitely still with some different kind of elements in there. But then over time, they've developed into more of a progressive metal band with br little bits of black metal in there. I like all the eras of this band. I don't really think they have any bad material out there. But anyways, I'm just going to count down my 15 favorite songs by these guys. This was very difficult to narrow down. I love pretty much everything these guys have done. So if you don't hear me talk about a song that you absolutely love, it's not because I don't like it. It just, these are the 15 that I picked for today. I'm sure this would change on any given day. But without further ado, let's get right into this. So just cracking the list in at number 15, I'm going with The Earthling off of the album Erd. So I was speaking of all the great vocalists that they've had. With each song I name, I'll kind of throw in who the vocalist was on the song because that'll help identify which era of the band. So this one did have Vintersorg doing the vocals. I should have mentioned at the beginning, the one member that's been in this band over the course of their whole career is Oyston G. Brunn, the guitarist and principal songwriter. And he just knows how to write a solid, solid tune. This one is no exception. Venture Swords vocals are absolutely epic. Easy addition to my list, just coming in at number 15. Up next at number 14, I'm going to their newest album, True North, and the song The Fire That Burns. This one really has a nice blend of like harsher black metal vocals by Vortex and then mixing in some nice cleans by Lars. And it really just blends really together so well. This is a perfect example of a more modern, progressive song. And it just, it's really got a great vibe to it. Absolutely love this album and love this song. Up next at number 13, going to the album right before that, Winter Thrice, with this opening track, The Rhymes of the Mountain. So this one has Vinter Sorg on vocals, uh, Lars Nedlin does some backups, and even Vortex does one verse in there as well. Just all in all, absolutely great way to kick off the album. Winter Thrice is actually one of my favorite Borkengar albums. I got the poster of it right there. Pretty much could have named off half this album to be in this top 15. I think I've only got two or three songs from the album in this list, but easily could have been more. I love that album to pieces. Absolute masterpiece and Rhymes of the Mountain needed to be on here. Up next at number 12, I'm going to the album Epic with the song Traveler. So this is just a Vinter Sorg song, uh, like he's the only vocalist on it. Uh, maybe there's some backup vocals in there by Lars, but um, pretty much it's just Vinter Sorg. And the chorus is just so fucking catchy, like, Traveler! Just, it's gonna stick in your head for so long. Just, it's off the album Epic, and it is an epic. Probably my favorite track off that album. That's why it's in at number 12. Up next at number 11, I'm going back to the Erd album with the song Frostrite. So they did have multiple singers on this album, but this song is just Vortex singing, and he does an absolutely phenomenal job. It's really up-tempo, just great song, really catchy, and his clean vocals just really suit it. Vortex has some of the most unique clean vocals. Actually, all their vocalists are very unique. You can identify them instantly. No one's going to confuse Garm or Vortex or Vintersorg with anyone else. They're all just absolutely stellar vocalists. I can't emphasize enough how great the vocals are in Bork Nagar. And yeah, this song is no exception. So now let's get into the top 10, my 10 favorite Bork Nagar songs. So coming in at number 10, I'm going to the Quintessence album, which is another ICS Vortex album, and the song Colossus. So this is my favorite track off this album. Could have thrown a couple more in there as well. This is a pretty solid album, but Colossus has just always stood out to me as the best song on that album. And that's why it's in Just Crack in the Top 10. Up next at number nine, I'm going back to the brand new, well not brand new, it's 
It's from 2019, but to the newest album, True North, with the song Up North. So this is a very unique song for Borknagar. This is not even really so much metal at all. This is like a 70s style prog rock song, but it, it works. It works really well. Vortex's clean vocals just absolutely shine on this song. When this was released as like the first single for True North, I wasn't really sure what to expect from the album, but this is really the only song on that album that's in this style, but it really suits them, and I dig this song a lot, clearly, it's in my top 10, like it really is the standout on, up on True North, and yeah, if you haven't heard this before, definitely go give it a spin, because it is awesome. Up next at number 8, I'm going with the title track off of Winter Thrice. So yeah, the music video for this one is really cool because they actually brought in like all the vocalists from the different eras of the band to sing on the same track. So you got Vintersorg, Vortex, Lars Nedland, and Garm all doing their thing all in the same music video. It's just all the different eras of the band culminating into this one really awesome song. Like the main guitar riff is pretty basic in here, but it's really awesome. Like this is kind of a throwback song. It reminds me of stuff that's off of like the olden domain, but having all four of these guys do vocals on it, it's just amazing. I love the harsh vocals that Vintersorg does, and then Garm's chorus is just sung so beautifully, and Vortex and Lars do some really nice verses in there as well. Uh, just absolutely great song. That's what's in number eight. Up next at number seven, speaking of the olden domain album, I'm going with the song The Winter Way off of that album. So this is, of course, a Garm album. This album is my favorite Borknagar album. The lineup on here is just absolutely sick. You had Grimm on drums, who of course was in Immortal and Gorgoroth and of course Borknagar. And uh, had Ivar Bjornsson from Enslaved was the keyboardist at the time. He was the keyboardist for the first three albums before Lars Nedland came in there. And so yeah, Garm's doing vocals, Oyston on guitar, and it's just amazing and this song is no exception one of my favorites from the album but you'll probably see a couple more songs from this album coming up next yeah i've got three songs from this album in my top 10 could have easily put this whole album on here because i love it that much but i wanted to throw out some shout outs to other albums as well but anyways yeah the winter way is in at number seven up next at number six i'm going to the universal album with the song my domain so this album was actually pretty much a Vintersorg album, but then they brought in Vortex just to do vocals on one song, and it is this song, and it is probably my favorite song on the album. It's not because I like Vortex more than Vintersorg. I, it's very hard to compare these guys. They're all so unique, but just this song, it's more of a ballad-style song near the end of the album, and it's just perfect. I absolutely adore this. It's just a gorgeous song. Needed to be high on my list. Up next at number five. I'm going to the debut album, self-titled debut album with the song Grim Trill. Probably mispronouncing that, but doing my best. So this, of course, was still Garm. And this was more of like a straight-ahead black metal song with a little bit of folky stuff going on, Viking elements in there. But it's just, I love the vibe on this album, and this is probably my favorite track off the debut. Yes, it's a little more straightforward, but it slays. The riffs are great. The vocals are absolutely awesome. Killer song needed to be in my top five. Up next at number four, I'm going back to the Winter Thrice album, and my favorite song is the closer, Terminus. So this one kind of interplays vocals between Vintersorg and Garm once again, and it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love the chorus in this song. It just builds up so beautifully. My favorite track on the album, I feel like it's a little bit of an underrated Borknagar song, but it is gorgeous and needed to be high on my list because it is that good. Coming in now to the top three. In at number three, I'm going back to the Olden Domain with A Tale of Pagan Tongue. Easily one of my favorite Borknagar songs. If you've never heard Borknagar before, this would be a great song to go start with. Kind of see what they're all about. See the kind of journey that it'll take you on with the black metal and some clean singing in there too. And it's just amazing. Like I said earlier, the lineup on this album is absolutely sick. One of my favorite albums of all time. And this is one of my favorite tracks off that album. Up next at number two, an album I haven't even mentioned yet, The Archaic Course. I'm going with my favorite track off that, which is the opening song, Oceans Rise. So this was the first album to feature ICS Vortex on vocals, and what a way to kick off the album to introduce the new member. He just really shines on this song. His vocals are so gigantic and amazing, especially the cleans, 
And yeah, this needed to be here. One of my favorite Borknagar songs easily, but not my number one favorite. There is one spot left, and I'm of course going back to the Olden Domain album with the closing track, The Dawn of the End. So another one that's sung beautifully by Garm, got the really nice harsh vocals, and then the beautiful clean singing parts are just amazing. Autumn twice, river and rocks, a new kingdom rise, I close my eyes. Winter thrice, river and rocks, a new kingdom rise, I close my eyes, I close my eyes. Once again, I get carried away. Don't listen to my shitty singing voice. Go listen to Garm nail that, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Love this song to bits. Probably my favorite Borg Nagar song, at least for today, it's in at number one. Anyways, these are just my opinions as usual. Love to get your thoughts down below. Do you love this band as much as I do? What are your favorite tracks by them? Love to see a list down below from some of you. So anyways, until next time, give me a like and give me a subscribe. Hammer Heart Metal Reviews out.